Did you ever imagine the thrilling possibility of a partnership between Mullen and General Motors? Well, hold on to your seats because today, we're diving deep into this exciting collaboration and why many believe it could become a reality. We all know that Mullen has recently recruited some top-notch people, including former high-ranking members from General Motors. I'm talking about John Schwegman and Paul Lower. John Schwegman, a former executive at GM, came on board Mullen's team in October last year. And soon after, Paul also joined the company. So, if he used to be a top executive at General Motors, we might just witness another exciting collaboration coming up. Let me tell you why. Remember when Rivian joined forces with Ford? Well, they brought in a bunch of skilled folks from Ford, including some who had been there for ages. It was a smart move by Rivian, and it got people talking. You probably remember Randy Frank, a prominent figure with an impressive 27-year tenure at Ford. Shortly after his departure, we witnessed an exciting collaboration between Ford and Rivian, but unfortunately, it didn't stand the test of time. This was primarily due to the economic downturn, which forced Ford to sell off a significant portion of its stake in Rivian. The partnership initially aimed to leverage Rivian's platform to produce a majority of Ford vehicles, offering a promising revenue stream for Rivian. However, things didn't go as planned, and the partnership ultimately fell apart. Analysts believe that the General Motors deal with Mullen is a perfect match. Firstly, General Motors is investing a massive amount of money into its battery technology. Meanwhile, Mullen possesses an unrivaled battery technology of their own. But that's not all. Mullen has the advantage of having two prominent former General Motors executives on board, establishing strong connections between the two companies. It's a massive opportunity for both parties involved. Not only did Mullen acquire the former General Motors factory at a fraction of the cost, but analysts suspect that former executives had a hand in sealing the deal. Whenever we witness two similar companies with an executive transitioning between them, it often results in a merger or some form of collaboration. And it's highly likely that Mullen will follow suit. Analysts believe that a partnership with Mullen would greatly benefit General Motors by granting them access to Mullen's groundbreaking battery technology. This would propel them to become the second largest electric vehicle manufacturer worldwide, right behind Tesla. General Motors is pursuing a strategic goal, and it makes sense for Mullen to partner with them. Even if you're not interested in owning a Mullen car, Mullen will still generate income by selling their battery technology to their competitors. It's a win-win situation. Mullen is strongly emphasizing their commercial lineup, especially their cargo vans, which experts predict will be their primary source of revenue. Speaking of their Mullen 5 vehicle, it's a truly remarkable electric vehicle. However, considering the large number of electric cars being produced by major auto manufacturers and the speed at which they're coming off the assembly line, like General Motors planning to release 600,000 vehicles in 2024, Mullen's competition is tough. Many startup electric vehicle companies lack the financial capacity to compete with these numbers. Some of them don't even have a physical facility yet. They either seek funding to construct one or outsource their production to other companies. However, Mullen stands out because they own multiple facilities, including a valuable one in Michigan. And its worth exceeds the company's current market capitalization of nearly $200 million. Furthermore, you might know that the recent reverse stock split has significantly improved Mullen's situation. Mullen's current share flow is no longer in the billions, and having a shared flow of $35 billion was a monumental challenge for the company. Now, it looks like we've got around 142 million people interested in buying stocks in Mullen. This could lead to some great days with the prices going up. Before, it was challenging to increase the price because so many shares were available. It would only really move when people started selling, creating a chain reaction. Getting the price to go up was challenging because of the large number of shares. Now, this partnership with General Motors isn't confirmed yet. Speculating based on Rivian, Ford, and major names from General Motors, it seems likely that they could collaborate successfully. They understand General Motors' requirements and Mullen's needs, and they might be a perfect fit. But before we continue, we want to thank you for watching this far. But let's go back to what's happening between GM and Mullen. Mullen Advanced Energy Operations is now actively installing and field testing an energy management module on a fleet of 40 Chevrolet Bolts, which the Washington, D.C. city government is utilizing. It's worth noting that Chevrolet is a motor division of General Motors, so this news is just adding fuel to the rumors and speculations. 
The District of Columbia awarded a $680,000 contract to EV Technologies for purchasing and installing EMM units on bold vehicles in the city government's fleet. This testing program, which started on April 24, 2023, is a collaborative effort between EV Technologies, Global EV Technology, and Mullen Advanced Energy Operations. The initial testing phase focused on fine-tuning the vehicles using a dynamometer and performing dyno tests. Now, in the second phase, the vehicles were equipped with EMMs and another dyno test will be carried out. Once this is done, the vehicles will be reintegrated into the DC city government's fleet. Building upon insights from previous tests, the companies anticipate that the EMMs will greatly enhance the electric vehicle's driving range and efficiency. In March 2021, Element Materials Technology conducted vehicle tests on 2020 Chevrolet Bolts equipped with EMM units. The results were impressive, showing a remarkable 60% boost in efficiency, with the range jumping from 269 to 431 miles. David Mishiri, CEO and Chairman of Mullen Automotive, expressed his satisfaction, stating, The team's progress in executing the DC plan on schedule has been fantastic. He further mentioned that the installation of EMM units and the return of vehicles to the DC City fleet was expected to take place the following week. Furthermore, experts say investors should approach the potential partnership between Mullen and General Motors with cautious optimism. While there are promising signs and speculations of collaboration, it is important to remember that nothing has been confirmed yet. Drawing parallels to the Rivian Ford collaboration, where executives transitioned between the two companies, there is a possibility of a similar outcome with Mullen and General Motors. If the partnership does come to fruition, it could be a significant boost for both companies. Mullen's cutting-edge battery technology combined with General Motors' investment in battery technology could position them as a formidable force in the electric vehicle market. General Motors would gain access to Mullen's groundbreaking battery technology, helping them compete with Tesla and potentially become the second largest electric vehicle manufacturer globally. Mullen's emphasis on its commercial lineup, particularly its cargo vans, is a strategic move to generate revenue. Even if individuals are not interested in owning a Mullen car, the company can still generate income by selling its battery technology to competitors, creating a win-win situation. So, would you support a partnership between Mullen and General Motors? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. So if you like this content, smash the like button and please consider subscribing. Guys, we have an excellent compilation of our Mullen videos, so if you want to check more, click our playlist right here and enjoy.